of this week's projects gone bad. This is a piece of computer paper that I mod podged onto a piece of wood. This is a glass face that I decoupaged a napkin onto. And this is an Easter jar that I made that's bright full of wrinkles and the bottom kind of wrinkled up and doesn't look all that nice. And a jar that's just bad. I'm gonna clean these up so I can redo them. The first project that I'm gonna fix up is this little wooden sign and I decoupage just with regular computer paper it onto the piece of wood and then put a top coat of Mod Podge. I'm putting really hot, warm water, dabbing it on and I'm gonna let it sit for about 15 minutes. Okay, I've let it sit for about 15 minutes and I'm gonna take my scraper and I'm gonna start at the corner and I'm just gonna scrape away and see if it'll lift off. And you might have to add a little bit more warm water and let it sit a little bit longer, but it should eventually just peel right off. And as you can see, as the water penetrates through, it is quite easy to scrape off. Sometimes for no apparent reason with Mod Podge or any sort of decoupage, you just have bubbles and wrinkles that show up for no reason. And that's what just happened with this sign. I just had one bubble that showed up on the side of it and it's easier just to scrape it completely off and start right from scratch. And I got the graphic completely scraped off and I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a sanding with a sanding block and it'll be ready to redo into a new sign. I'm just using an 80 grit sanding block and just giving it a light sand. It's not taking too much of the paint off and you can always just touch up the paint after. Now for the next project gone wrong. I'm gonna fill up my kitchen sink with really hot soapy water and the project that I'm going to try to fix has a layer of chalk paint, a decoupage napkin, applied with Mod Podge and then a top coat of Mod Podge. So I'm gonna put it in the sink and let it soak. You'll probably need to soak this for 10 or 15 minutes in the hot water. And once you do that, you'll see how easy the chalk paint will scratch right off the glass bottle. As you can see, it's only been in there a few minutes and it's already starting to scratch off. Okay, it's been 10 minutes and you can see how easy it's peeling right off the glass jar. My poor little Easter jar, it was so cute. The napkins that I got were so cute, but I'm going to redo another one and the same way and I'm gonna try to do it without as many bubbles and wrinkles and I'll be much happier with it. Just a little bit more scraping and it's all ready for me to redo again. Next project fail. This is just a napkin decoupaged with Mod Podge and then a top coat of Mod Podge put on it. Same thing, just soak it in some hot soapy water, leave it for 10 or 15 minutes and it'll probably peel right off really easy. And as you can see, it does, it peels right off really easy and I'll clean it up again and redo it again. If you have a project that you're not happy with, you can see how easy it is just to let it soak, start from scratch, and you'll feel much better about it after doing it a second time. Plus you're learning as you go. I always take this as a learning experience. Figure out where I went wrong and then try to improve it the next time and it came off really easy. And again, just a glass jar that I decoupaged a napkin onto. I tried to do a full napkin and it wrinkled up on me halfway through and just went sideways real fast. So just soak it 10 or 15 minutes and you'll see that it'll lift off really easy. Now this process works on the Mod Podge matte or gloss finish, not the dishwasher safe Mod Podge. It would be a lot more difficult to remove that. And the last project that didn't go very well is this little wooden shelf sitter. I decoupaged a napkin that I made onto this little sign. So it has decoupage napkin with a top coat of Mod Podge 
and I'm just gonna soak it with some hot water. And sometimes these are a little bit more difficult to scrape off, but it takes a little bit of elbow grease and it should all come off. So I'm just gonna use my scraper and scrape away. And as you can see, it's been a little bit stubborn to scrape off, but I'm just gonna work away at it because I'm persistent and I wanna use this again to make a new sign. So I'm gonna just scrape away until it all comes off. Okay, I got it all off. It was a little bit of a job, but I'm just gonna take the sanding block now and smooth it. And I'll probably put another little top coat of chalk paint on top of it before I make it into a sign again. So all my failed projects are fixed up and I have a clean palette to start all over again. Let's hope Thursday and Friday's projects turn out a little bit better than Monday, Tuesday and Wednesdays. I hope you found today's tutorial helpful and if you have make sure to hit the like button and I have another video and another playlist of lots of great DIY content so if you have a chance head over there now and check out that and I love new crafting friends so make sure to subscribe thanks for watching and have a great day